Okay. So, I told you guys that I would try to make a cleanup tutorial and I have 7 minutes and 50 seconds to do it. So, I'll try to be quick. These are, let me see if I can get it to focus so you can really see. I painted my nails with a uh, Layla Flash Black. Can you see? There you go, see? And I purposefully put polish around on my nails. And yeah, we're gonna clean it up. So I'll explain like a couple of different ways. Probably everybody knows it. First, some people use regular Q-tips to go around the edges and get rid of extra polish. I don't like it because you can't really get in there, but they do make pointed Q-tips, which I don't have. Um, some other people use orange sticks. You can use the pointed and dip it in your acetone and sweep it around. Um, I have in a pinch when I couldn't find my brush used a tweezer man cuticle pusher. Um, I'll show you some of my cleanup brushes that I have. Um, this one is a detail brush. If you can see, it's kind of angled. This was just a brush that I got in a detail set from Walmart. Um, this is my brush that I use to clean up brush strokes because with some polishes it looks really brush strokey and what you do is you dip it in the acetone and then all the way down the nail like that and it should erase all the brush strokes for you. Um, it might take a couple of passes and you really kind of have to have a light hand otherwise you're going to rub all the polish off. And then this is the e.l.f. concealer brush. Mine is super ragged because I use it a lot. It is, can we see it? Oh, just a little bitty brush. There you go. Um, it's kind of C-curved at the top and mine's really ragged like I said. Um, so what you're going to need is like a regular surface table, whatever, wherever you paint. Um, wherever is most comfortable for you. You'll need a paper towel or a cotton ball to absorb extra acetone residue and the best thing to use for cleanup is a hundred percent pure acetone and this is the scrubby tub thing that I use just because it's easier for me to dip in and that's the scrubby tub buy this at Walmart. There's also a scrubby tub at Target too. Um, it's like the Up and Up brand I think. Alright, four minutes. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your brush and you're going to dip it in to the acetone. You can also use a dappin dish and put acetone in it, but this is what I do. I take my brush and I saturate it with the acetone and then I kind of rub it off a little bit like that. And then I dab it real quick on the paper towel and then I take the brush let me see if I can make sure I'm staying in frame and I just go around the outside of the nail and you can see on the brush that it's taken off that excess so then this is where you'll take your paper towel again and rub it off do it again on the other side make sure I'm staying in frame and then this is the part where it's kind of tricky is getting this line by your cuticle. Um, some people like a gap, some don't. I don't really mind, it just depends. Um, you just, am I in frame where you can see? Am I focused where you can see? Okay, <clears throat> you take your brush and you kind of just follow along the cuticle like that 
See how much it took off? I don't know. Can you see it? Possibly. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it took off a lot. So you just proceed to do that with all your fingers. And as you do it, you'll get faster and you won't have to dip. Sometimes I don't dip. It just doesn't really matter to me. I always lotion after anyway. Because the acetone will dry you out. Keep going. And then you don't have to hold your hand down. I find it's really easy to hold my hand and look at it like that. And sometimes, depending on how thickly you have applied your polish, when you're removing, you might get a little lip. You know, kind of like where you've dug in a little too far to remove. I'll show you what I do with that. I take my brush and I just kind of turn it sideways a little and go back over that area real light and it'll nine times out of ten smooth it out where you don't have to redo anything. And like I said in my post on the board or in the group dark colors are really good to practice with just because they're so unforgiving that you learn how to apply because application is like 99% of the whole deal I guess the better you apply the less you got to clean up so it makes it faster and you just keep going like that. I find it's really easy to do the C curve of your cuticle when you have your hand held up like that so you can kind of follow it really well. And I brace off of my other fingers. <clears throat> um, and like I said, after you do it a few times, it gets really fast. Like this is a whole hand in like a few minutes and I have like 20 seconds left so I hope that that helps you guys and that you can see um, I'll try to get a picture on at the end so you can see it really close up